Runk. <laughs> AdamandEve.com With all the bad news about prices these days Skyrocketing Wow, okay At the gas station and everywhere else It's nice to know that Adam and Eve is still offering the very best deal Not skyrocketing, which is good for your pockets At AdamandEve.com Get 50% off plus free shipping That is a lot of percent off That's 50% off an adventurous new toy or anything you want. Anything else you want there on their site. Uh, our product listeners will get 50% off almost any item. Just use the code LIFELINE at checkout and you will get 50% off. And free shipping. And free shipping. So, a huge deal. Doesn't matter what you choose. All will be packaged and sent discreetly for free. It won't make a whole big production out of it. You'll get your thing that you ordered and it'll be very, very Hush, hush. Not only will you save money on gas, movies, and date night dinners out, but this is the item that will continue to save you money, deliver tons of fun and satisfaction, and you can keep, keep, keeping on using it. Yeah, so go to adamandeve.com, select any one item, use code LIFELINE, L-I-F-E-L-I-N-E. And this is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to support our show and use this code LIFELINE to get you not just the 50% off, but also the 100% free shipping code LIFELINE. Go to adamandeve.com right now. adamandeve.com right now! Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. Do it live. Hello? So we always Hello? have robot. This, robot. We always have this. We do this podcast. We've been doing it. We're almost we're almost wow, like twenty. Wow, fucking it up so 20 hard. Twenty episodes in, and uh, look, man. <clears throat> yeah, you have often have too many drinks. Uh huh. This is really, really where you jump the shark. There's too many fucking drinks on the table. It's good because I don't have to get up if I want to drink. There's milk on the table. When's the last time you fucking drank a glass of milk? Years. Okay, so you don't need milk. You've also it's fucking. I don't two percent. I don't even so use only milk put in my in coffee. I don't milk use milk on my. I don't coffee, milk so use in my coffee. So I'll put the milk down. Yeah, and we'll get rid of a lot but of these. People cans. can't see my coffee, which I also have. You know what they can see? What's up? We told you. We promised, and it's true. Look at this. We've got the Lifeline merch finally out. If you are a fan of the show, if you support the show, you know the spin move mentality. We've got the hoodie here. We've got the t-shirt here. We want to show you the back. That's where we hung it up right here. This is what the back of the hoodie looks like. Check it out. Matt's, well, we, they already see the back of the hoodie. That's the whole reason why we did this. Okay, but they can't t hear you now, right? Because of your talking. But when, it, but when it's on you, it's different. But this is why I I'm, did it I'm like this. I pulled the muscle. So, uh, and then we got these two. We got the hoodie version and the, uh, let's try to not have this mess up the actual paint. Okay, there we go. And we're good. But also show them the back of yours. I'm going to. I'm going to show them the okay, back of Okay, we'll mine. do it faster. Um, so we have that. We have the thing. And then we have this. This is my favorite though. Dude, that might be my favorite too. Look how sick that is. That's fucking about it, about it. It's cool, dude. And it's so hot in the studio, so we'll probably end up taking these off. Yeah, it's actually so hot. I'm going to take but, it off right uh, you now, can but check go... out how nice it is before I do that. Yeah, we, yeah. And it, it's, where do you get them? Where do we get them? Mine? Lifelinemerch.com. Lifelinemerch.com. Lifeline merch you can find it out on my Instagram bio and all that stuff. You can go in there, but you, you can find it. Find it. You know what? How about this? Find it. All right? Find it. If you want it so bad, fucking but find yeah, it. But yeah, Lifeline, we're here. And uh, so that's what's up. And we're excited about it. It's been a long process. We wanted to get the designs down uh, because we didn't want it to just be some shitty, shintsy shit. And- uh, I'll tell you what. Usually when you know I'm a part of designing any kind of merch, I, mm. I land on the thing that mm. we agree on. And then I'm stoked about it. And then it comes and it's like- 80% as good mm, as I thought it would be. Mm, mm. This is like, exceeds my expectations. Here's the this deal. This shit looks good. And the reason why it took so long is because Matt wasn't sure the whole time. And then when we fucking delivered, I said, Matt, just trust me. We did it. And now fucking. Okay. But I like to think the way I did it. Right. It's made, good. Had us making sure that it was going to be great. All right. Well, we're chilling. We're having a good time here. Uh, we're downtown LA. That's where we do it. And we were in downtown LA and I stopped to get a fucking coffee bean and tea leaf. You know how I do. And um, I uh, I got down to the, I got down to the coffee bean and tea leaf. I saw about three people on the street. And when I saw them, they all said hi to me. And that's very weird. And the only thing I know about that, so here's the thing. If somebody says hi to you, you're walking down the street anywhere, yeah. then nice people, right? 
If you're downtown LA, that's how you know they're crazy. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. everybody's crazy downtown LA now. No, but it's sad though. It's actually sad. It's definitely sad. It's also, it's just fucking, it's never ending. So like mm-hmm. you get sort of jaded by it. Anybody that asks you for anything, you're just like, nah, nah, right. nah. Whereas right. normally you, I, at least I am open to giving people shit. Mm-hmm. But every fucking half block, Somebody's coming up asking me for something. Right. Usually an autograph. Usually a selfie no, picture with no, me in it. No, no. Usually fucking whatever, a kiss on the forehead. Wow, the the fucking Pope. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm the Pope. Speaking of the Pope, I've been watching the Tudors. Why are you clapping about you watching the Tudors? I've been Tudors? watching the Tudors. I saw fucking five episodes in two nights. And how is it? Does Kristen like it? She watched the beginning of the first episode and- Then was on TikTok? And then went to bed. And then the second night, she didn't want to do it because she went to bed. Now I'm pissed, dude, Whoa. but it's all good. I did fucking spin move back downstairs, watched the whole thing, and I'm down to pay. Fucking watch it and watch it. And instead of her, watch it with her, I'll watch it with a friend. Wow. You watched the tutors with a friend? Yep, dude. You have mental problems. Well, no, dude. it's good. You know why it's good? And I will tell you this. Okay, here's the deal. I get it's not very, it's not as thought provoking as, as a show like that should be. Okay. But- I wondered why it, it, it's it's just it's watchable. First of all, that guy Jonathan is it Jonathan Reese Myers? Jonathan Reese Myers, yeah. He is so obviously not Henry the Eighth. It's right, unbelievable. Right. And I heard that he was like, "I'm going to do the part," and then wouldn't put on the fat suit and wouldn't dye his hair. Oh, dude, <clears throat> I hate that. Which sucks. But also, it's like, I, who cares if they look like the people in history? I, I guess it adds to it. You I agree? agree? No, I fully you, agree. Oh, you do? Fully agree that it doesn't matter what they look like. When people get so caught up yeah. in like with Ray, with Jamie Foxx, everyone's like, he looks just like yeah. him. Anthony Hopkins and Nixon, I, he looks just like him. Who gives a fuck they're acting? I know, me, I know. Suspend I, your fucking disbelief. Exactly, exactly. Let me the play other thing R- I hate, Richard though, Nixon. Well, I'm not a crook. The other thing I hate, though, is the is when when there's like a, let's say it's an, uh, uh, an American movie, mm-hmm. but the, it takes place in France, mm-hmm. and all the American or English actors do a fucking French accent. A hundred percent agree with that. A hundred percent agree with that. just either do it in French or don't fucking bother. Do it in French, honestly, or honestly, no accent. Yeah. Or even just pick an accent. I don't give a fuck. It's better than just, they didn't speak in French accents. They, nope. speak, they spoke in French. Be a fucking Boston dude. Yeah. And be like, oh, I think that the tiger got him. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Like in fucking Gladiator, if it was just like some dude that was just like, oh, from Fargo. Right. Yeah, that'd be good too. <clears throat> oh, I, oh, oh, one of the gladiators died. So any accent, as long as it's not the place where they're actually sh- like, taking place yeah like yeah. do like be joaquin phoenix and go like this when yeah. when when you want to kill a guy do that okay do that and it's oh no oh he died eh right okay oh I mean, no that's like an armenian person from no minnesota. no it's a, from fargo i know it's a, if you if you didn't cut me off before i finished mm-hmm. it's, a, it's an armenian guy from minnesota it's not though okay it's just a guy from minnesota oh, okay there's no armenians in minnesota and everyone knows that that's why what i said right. was so I good get it. but anyway uh so i watch the tutors and the only reason why i watch that show is because eric griffin keeps telling me okay about this scene <laughs> where there's a guy whose job it is to catch how do we not get fucking age restricted for this or demonetized to catch the king's um spillage when he uh-huh uh-huh, when he, uh-huh. Huh, yeah. And he just sits there with a- When he does the cum jobby. Thing. And he goes yeah. like this. And then over he goes like this. And he goes like this and folds it and he, and he leaves. That's his whole role? That's his job. Worst role, worst acting real role of all time, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, I was in the tutors. I played uh, Jonathan Reese Myers' fucking cum jobby collector and- uh, <laughs> Cum jobby, dude. It was a great experience. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, dude. That's amazing. Just, Just this. And it shows it shows you it, like one one it shows one thing where you play the neighbor and according to Jim right and then one thing where you're just like and then a Doritos commercial and Jonathan Reese <laughs> and then Jonathan Reese Myers is like ha, ha, and you're just like thank you sir fucking quarterback <laughs> say, dude. thank you sir and the next thing is a Doritos commercial where the bag is like spitting and shit and you catch it and yeah, you're on yeah, a skateboard yeah yeah yeah, yeah oh yeah. wow best fucking acting reel of all time yeah so um so yeah I'm watching the tutors and I'm fucking hell into it dude. I mean, I'm into it. I man. can't believe you're into that. You're always into shit that's like really dumb for dumb people. I know, but I, but it, 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 
I think that it's actually like, because here's the thing. When television or movies try to be too smart, I'm fucking out. That's for dumb people, I think. I think this is a better version of Game of Thrones. There, I said it. But it's not similar. The Tudors is based in a true story and it, there's no dragons and shit. I, I know. That's so why I like why it. Why are you comparing them? Because it is the same kind of, they walk, they walk the same and they talk the same and shit. Okay. And they yell at the same times. Okay. How many you know, episodes everyone's of Game, fucking each other. How many episodes of Game of Thrones have you seen? Three seasons. Really? Yep. Guess okay. how many dragons well, I've seen. You just, like one. You just dropped a fucking bomb on me. Yeah, I didn't dude, expect I that. bombs, man. Didn't expect that. So, um... Well, by the way, I was walking downtown. Before we get into it, I was walking downtown just today. And another guy, one of the guys who said hi, another dude walked by me. And he was walking by and I was paying the parking meter. And he looked at me and he just, he looks at me and he says, I'm innocent and kept walking. <laughs> that reminds me, I used to, when I used to live in New York, I was chilling at fucking Washington Square Park. Mm -hmm. And I was just reading a book. Guy comes up to me. He's like kind of nervous. You know where this is going? No, oh, no. I, th I think he knows the story. That, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, he walks up to me. And he's like, he's just like, uh, hey, and he's kind of like nervous seeming. Yeah, yeah. He goes, hey, and he kind of stumbles on his words. Uh -huh. And then he stops stumbling on his words and he finally just, says, uh, I have AIDS. Oh, yeah. You and told I was me just that, like, dude. oh, that's not a good icebreaker. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I have AIDS. Can I have some change? All good that you have AIDS, but don't leave What was he that. trying to do? So I have AIDS. I was wondering if you have representation. I'm an agent in Hollywood. <laughs> um, no, I think he just, I, if I remember correctly, I mean, that kind of is all I remember. Mm. But wow. uh, I Fuck think he wanted, you know? uh, and we dated for a few months. Wow. And uh, it, that was that. Yeah. So, all right. So you have too many drinks and I'm dripped out in gold and it's all good, dude. Whoops. And it's hot. Right? I know. So, um, all right, let's do it. You want to get into the show or what? Sure. We'll get into the show. Go to get your uh, Lifeline merch. We got it all. We wore it and we, you saw it with DC. It's That's fucking mentality, great. Mentality, it's uh, mad comfy alive. too. All right, cool. Matt Comfy, a reggae artist. <laughs> hey, Brady Chris Sinos. and Matt. Uh, Luke here from the UK. I uh, love the podcast and Chris, I lo love your podcast as well. Okay, well. Uh, so I just wanted a bit of advice on me and my partner. We're emigrating to Australia in a couple of months, but in the meantime, uh, we're moving back into my parents and oh. she lives with my sister. And I just wanted a bit of advice really, you know, how we carry on doing Oof. the horizontal yeah. Uh, with them two in the house. There was one time when I first brought my partner back, um, I left my belt on the floor and I had to make up some story. My mum fell for it because, you know, your boy's got acting in his corner. It looks like it. Nice. Um, so, yeah, just a bit of advice on how we keep it uh, keep it moving in the old parents. Wow. Thanks, guys. David Brent. Um, well, I think... Jesus, man. Save the blasting for when your parents are gone, if possible. And if you can't, if they don't leave, if there's no blastage possible. Save the blasting. When you, if there's no blastage possible when they're gone, <laughs> fucking right? A professor. I think that what you need to do is tr is is have the qu the quiet blastage where it's like you kind of just like wow. tight-lipped, making sure it's just like the efforts are contained. And you're just doing it slow. You're not banging the bed against the wall, yeah. right? Because that's a big one. Mm -hmm. You're trying to do the quiet yeah. blast. Pull the bed out from the wall. Uh -huh. Yeah, First in the middle of the, the room. Out. Yeah, only fuck in the middle of the room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like if that's the floor, that's the floor. Yeah. If it's the ottoman, that's the ottoman. And don't leave your belt on the ground. So here we have save the blastage right here. We've saved the blastage for when the parents are gone. If the parents are here, we're going to do quiet blastage. Worst professor of all time. Jet propulsion laboratories. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, dude. I think that um, there's a lot of crazy cool places to do blastage, though. You could do car blastage. You could do fucking. Yeah, actually. Maybe get a motel. Are there motels in Britain? I don't know. Try to do the blastage outside the house if they're always at the house, well, you know? Yeah, illegal, but yeah. Or, or watch, like, if you have a TV in your own room, mm. watch it real loud. Right, right. But don't watch sex scenes because then it'll sound like it's, you no, know. No, like, watch, like, fucking Saving Private Ryan, you know? Wow. Sad blastage. Right, 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 right. Oh, Were is you... that the same guy that he shot him in the first place? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wait, you're kidding me. He let him live and then he shot him. What? That's crazy. It came back around. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is my favorite part when the guy stabs him when he's laying right over him, looks him right in the eye. Ah! Wow, well, dude, imagine oh. saying that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is that Vin Diesel? Oh! <laughs> That's the guy from Fast and Furious. Who? Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Just a um, minute, mum. <laughs> no, nah, mum, we're just watching Saving Private Ryan. Oh, that guy's looking for his arm, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, dude, I think that that's what you do. You save the blastage for when the parents ain't home because the parents got to leave. 
the parents got to leave, don't they? They do sometimes. He, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess if they're old, which they probably are because he's not, it's not like he's, you know, he's, I mean, he's obviously they, at least in his late 20s. But. They're below 75 based mm-hmm, on the yeah. way he looks. So, right? so, but that, that when they get older and older, the parents stay there. But the good thing about that is they lose their hearing. So they lose their hearing and then blast away. But also, you're an adult. So right. you deserve, you reserve the right to participate in blastage whenever you want. Here's the other, th- here's the other thing too. You cannot get kicked out because you're already moving anyway. So you can pretty much do what you want. Right. And if they say, we don't want you to be blasting in here. We don't care if you're listening to fucking Saving Private Ryan. It's absolutely man's who. And then they'll be like, well, mom, guess what? We're moving to Australia anyway. Come on, partner. Let's go back in. Yeah. Let's watch fucking whatever that movie is with Paul Rudd and Tom Hanks. What's that? The fucking, uh, the one that came out, the spy one that came out recently. Bridge of Spies? Maybe. Yeah. Is Tom, yes. is, is uh, Tom Hank and Paul Rudd is in it. Tom Hank, you know? Tom Hank is in it. Tom Hank? Cool. Uh, only Paul Rudd? Because only one of them is in it. Tom Hank. <laughs> Not all the Tom Hanks. So, um, all right, cool. All right, yeah, that's, not, okay, cool. We got it. We figured it out. Thanks, Yep. Tom. Here we go. What's up, Matt? What's up, shit. Chris? This oh, is Jack shit. coming to you from Chicago. Nice hoodie. Um, yeah. Looking fly in the life ribs hoodie. Oh, nice. yes. Got a question for you. So I've been seeing this guy. I'm a gay baby. And I've been seeing this guy. And we've been on like five or six dates. We always have fun on the date. He's dope. I want to see where it goes. Yeah. But he's starting to become a bit of an excessive texter. Oh. Like I'm getting a text right when I wake up. I'm getting a text at 11 a.m. I'm getting a text at 2 p.m., 5 p.m. And it's like I work full time. I kind of got to stay focused during the day. And also I just like want to not talk sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yep. of course. So how do I break it to him that I like him but – you know, I, I can't be doing this all day texting. Let me know. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Just say, you don't even need to say that. Say, uh, sometimes I can't text. Even if I want to, I'm at work, I don't see the text or I have to read it and then respond later. So you can be like, you can make, you can frame it like you don't mind the barrage of texts, but you, you, you are letting him know he won't be able to respond all the time. So you're not making it personal to him. You're making it about you and how often you're available to text back. I have a, I have a great oh, idea. Oh boy. I can no, already this is tell. Actually I a can great already tell idea. it's a bad if, one. No, it's not. If I ever had a good idea, a lot of times we do silly shit, but this is for real, bro. Okay. I think okay, I have okay. a good idea. Okay. You're known as a guy who gives the good advice, whatever, quote unquote, vomit. But like- Wow, so rude. Yeah. <laughs> Put your red receipt. Read, 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 Whoa, red receipts, whatever red, it is. Red receipts, Put yeah. your red receipts on for him. Okay. This way he knows when you see the text. Okay. And tell him, listen, I can't always respond. You know, you text a bunch. If that's your thing, I'm not always going to be responding because I have to work, right? And I'm obviously the fucking, you know, you're acting like a girl. I know you're a guy, but you're acting like a girl, right? But don't say that part. It's a head trip, okay. But, but... I'm going to put my red receipts on. So, you know, when I get the res- that this is out of respect, you know, I got it. I saw it and I will respond when I can. Okay. Putting on the red receipts is going to change the dynamic. How? Of it. I don't understand. Because how. the guy's going to fucking see that he sent it and that he read it. And he's going to get used to the fact that the guy doesn't respond as soon as he sees it. And then he's mm. going to, because re- dude, dude, I, I mean, I respond to people sometimes fucking eight hours later. Oh, dude, I am so bad. Really? I will sometimes just not respond until they text me again. Then I'll be like, oh, right. You texted me before. Like, dude, I'm so bad at it. Mm. Also, you could just have a conversation and be like, dude, the greatest thing about being gay is we don't have to deal with shit like yeah, this. Yeah, nobody You're being a, a straight girl. Guys don't give a fuck. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to, I'm a dude. And guess what? We're, we're, we're chilling. We're gay. We're missing out by you texting me all the time. We're missing out on the best part of being gay, not having to deal with the woman. Yeah, well, right. That's super. Sounds really misogynist. In the negative way. In the negative way. Women are great, obviously. Okay. But in the negative ways that women are, and a lot of fucking men are negative in a lot of ways. Uh huh. But we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about right now. You're acting like a woman. Right. The best part of being gay is I don't have to talk when I don't want to, dude. We can Uh just chill and fucking hang out, watch Saving Private Ryan or whatever it is, and not have to talk to each other, bro. But what if this is a guy who who, leans more to the feminine in that way? Obviously, there are many men like that. Yeah, but then he's got to find another dude that's going to be more accepted. That's not a fucking deal breaker, is it? Texting a lot. Just be like, look, I don't text that much. That's it. Okay. If the other guy deals with it nice, then good. Well, that's what I'm saying. Then it's on him. If right, he has a problem right, with that, right, then right, fucking right, right, that's right. a weird problem right. to have. If you're going to be gay, you need to be all the way gay and still be a dude and also fucking be able to be like, look, dude, 
we're we're bros at the end of the day we're bros now you know what i mean whether you're top or bottom it's all good maybe sometimes i'm top sometimes i'm bottom maybe we mix it up whatever it is i don't know what your kink is but one of the fucking things that's a pro about being a fucking gay is that we're dudes and we don't have to fucking do this shit all the time mm. right yeah we don't have to do this shit all the time yeah yeah okay well there you have it yes got who, out of that one who's a handsome guy that guy yeah it was a good looking guy i'm sure the fucking boyfriend is a good looking too okay what do you guys well, think about um do not disturb thing in general on the iphone thing i have almost every single person i know on do not disturb yeah but that's still i never get alerts on my phone anymore i have to look at my phone mm. to get a text that's good you know uh but no, that still doesn't save i mean he could say i have my shit on do not disturb i think you should let the guy know all of the reasons why mm -hmm. he doesn't not that he doesn't want a text mm -hmm. he should frame it as he doesn't see texts mm -hmm. he's not good at texting mm -hmm. it takes him a while to get back to certain texts mm -hmm. all that shit everything short of you text too much and stop it mm -hmm. you know I, I also uh sometimes get like i'll wake up in the morning i'll get eight texts and i'll check them and i because i'm hot hazy and foggy yeah i don't even remember that oh, totally. i totally yeah. you do that too yeah, yeah absolutely i always have more than eight because i'm really popular but yeah no but i have eight because i only sleep for like an hour i'll sleep for an hour and i'll wake up i have eight but if uh -huh. i sleep for eight hours i'll have almost 250. yeah i'll have like i have like two like 300 i think it's like 310 yeah, or 300, something like that i think i have about 380. i'm honestly about 400 i texts think every i've morning. had there's I've been a bunch of times where i've had a thousand i'll have like so. two two Two, two or three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, so, all right, next one, dude. You want to okay. read it? Okay. I mean, I mean, you know, I, robots. I female twenty one. Oh, okay. And I F twenty one, and my boyfriend M twenty one. I female twenty one years old, and my boyfriend male twenty one years old. Currently live together and have been together for about four months. To explain why we are living together at the four month mark, it's quick. we started out as roommates, but then started dating. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I have to say, my boyfriend has never been good at pet names. Oh boy. Some early ones were Little Stubster. Little Stubster. Bro. That sounds like a fucking, honestly, that sounds like a, a, a sitcom in the 80s Little with one Stubster. of those short black dudes that never grew up. And Sour Meat. Dude, Ew, this guy needs dude. to get his head checked. Ew, hi, sour meat. That's just like a straight up boner killer. Why would you do that? Oh, man, sour meat. One of my nicknames for him in comparison is Little Bird. That's I a mean, cute one. So sweet. Yeah, 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 Little Bird. Hi, sour meat. Hey, Little Bird. Hey, <laughs> shit, fuck McGillicuddy. <laughs> anyway, about two weeks ago, he starts calling <laughs> me Tony Pizza. <laughs> Tony Pizza. Dude, the guy. Are you dating? What? what? This doesn't and even... This is this doesn't even make sense, and he uses it more often than my actual name. This guy name. is an alien masquerading as yeah. a human being. He is obsessed. Pet names like Tony Pizza and Sour <laughs> Meat, and also Little Stubster. Go. It honestly bothers me that he can't to even bother Earth. to find a somewhat nice nickname for me. I have had a couple of conversations with him about it, but he says he just can't think of anything better. What do I do? Is this going to become a bigger problem, or should I even address it? I hate being Tony Pizza. <laughs> Dude, I would dude, I would hate being Tony Pizza too. You know what the best? I would love being Tony Pizza, dude. Are you shitting to me your, if your name was Tony Pizza? If Krista was calling you Tony Pizza as a pet name? Come on. I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. If your name was Tony Pizza, that's cool. But this is a pet name, like a, a term of endearment from your loved one. No, dude. No, no, no. If you're having sex with someone and all of a sudden you're like, yo, I'm Tony Pizza. Right. You can say it about yourself, but imagine a woman saying it to you. Hey, come on down to Tony Pizza's jeweler. Okay. Jewelers. Hey, come on down. And By the way, you know, the best part about this is he used to eat as a kid Tony's Pizza. Remember right. Tony's Pizza? Yeah, he definitely has. And that, like that, a, that's why he's getting that. And he's calling her Tony Pizza because when he was a kid, he would eat Tony's Pizza. An pizzas. association with it. Yeah. Yeah. What I think is you absolutely have to address it. You have to say, look, the names you have for me are fucking disgusting and they make me feel disgusting. And you're stupid if you think they're good. Wow. You can't think of anything else other than Little Stubster? Such a fucking and fucking sad meat or whatever mm. sour meat. Sad meat would be better. Yeah, sad meat. Would, sad meat would be way better. Sour meat <coughs> is disgusting, only disgusting, yeah. dude. This guy sucks, dude. Break up with him. I want to know who this guy is very badly. Also, he's twenty one. To be fucking twenty one <laughs> and have that. This guy's creative as shit. Honestly, to be able to do that. I mean, dude. Little little stubster is one thing. That's just sour meat is incredible. But Tony Pizza is the most <laughs> unreal fucking name to the. Remember when we had the fucking? Uh, remember when you had this stupid? What do you play the fucking baseball? The, the yeah, baseball. stupid fucking no the what, what, what? the 
on virtual baseball. What the fuck do you call it? Oh, 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 oh. What was you that do it called? every day. You do it every oh, day. Fantasy so what's baseball. Fantasy baseball. baseball. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, to- Tommy Sandwich. Tommy Sandwich. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, I do remember do Tommy, Tommy Sandwich. Because I said, because I was saying like Kevin Bacon is like basic. That's the word his last name is Bacon. Just his first name and a food. Tony yeah. Pizza. Yeah. Tony um, Pizza. So wait, hold on. First, let's go in order. Little Stubster is fucking rude. No. Straight up. It, but. Straight up, it's rude. Th- there is an argument that Little Stubster is kind of cute in a way. There is an argument. It's like calling somebody Little Chubby Boy. Little Chubby That's kind of cute. No, dude. Okay, anyway. Okay. Sour meat is just like. Bleh. Yeah, sour meat is like a bad guy in the cr- in okay. the in the fucking comic book Spawn. Dick Tracy. Yeah, spawn. Right, right. I said spawn. Okay, but so yeah. I was saying it's something a little slightly better, but it's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So then Tony oh, no, Pizza. Oh no, sour meat. Yeah, in Dick a Tracy. vacuum, Tony Pizza is Tony- fine. But as a as a pet name for your fucking girl, Tony Pizza. Tony Pizza, dude. Would also be Dick. These are all Dick Tracy. Yeah, honestly, these are all Dick Tracy bad guys. Yeah, yeah. Little <laughs> Stubster, fucking uh, <laughs> sour meat, and Tony Pizza, dude. This guy is honestly just a big Dick Tracy fan, yes. and we just yeah. figured it out. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Just bring it up to him and be like, "Yo, what the fuck is with your naming capabilities? Right. If we ever have kids, and you you're gonna name them, what are you gonna name them, dude? Right? Astronaut, right. cosmonaut? Right, right, right. Like you got to fucking figure out the 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 right. Uh, this is a, alarming, dude. I agree. Call me little teddy bear. Call me fucking, you know what I mean? Just Call like, me Starship Troopers. Call me anything but fucking. I love how he says he just can't think of anything better. Go online, you fucking idiot. He's just lazy, dude. We don't I like him. I hope he does it during sex. Break up with him. I hope he does it during sex. I'm, I, I firmly believe break up with him. No. Yes, dude. This guy's a creative guy. This is the kind of guy who will sell a company for a billion dollars in fucking, fucking in, in 15 Ted years. Ted Bundy was creative, dude. Call him Ted Bundy. Call <laughs> him Ted Bundy. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe yeah, think that's of better way to do it. That's it. Throw it back in his face by calling him really shitty stuff. Tip for tat. Like smelly armpit. Yeah. Small dick. Hey, small dick. Hey, small dick Johnson. Small dick McGee. Okay. Smelly armpit Johnson. Wow. Yeah. Hey, stinky shithole. Stinky shithole. All right. Guy. Cool. This podcast has gone off the rails. What's the next one? Hey, Christopher and Matthew. Hi. My name is Adelaide and I am a huge fan. So I want to start with that. Cute. Um, but I wanted to ask you guys a question. So I'm super mixed, always have been, always will be. Uh-huh. And I've always had a problem with how people address that though. Oh, like racial. I'm consistently okay. walked up to and asked things like, what are you or uh, where are you from or what are yeah. you mixed with? So I Nobody guess my question that. is like, how do you respond to people like that? This is a daily thing for me. So any help appreciated. Okay. Have a good one. I think for me, whenever somebody asks me where I'm from or like what my ethnicity is, I honestly find those conversations so boring mm. that I think maybe a good thing to do is just say, like, like, ask, do, do what happens there. Hey, what's going on? Where are you? Where are you? What are you? You're boring. But okay, you're boring me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you black or white? You're boring me. Oh. And then they'll stop. Yeah, that's really. I mean, it'll stop. <laughs> um, I have to be. I have to be honest. So when I saw her, I thought, wow, she's. Like the most fifty percent white and fifty percent black. Like just, you remember that Seinfeld episode where they couldn't tell if the person was white or black. No, actually, and they were like, "We don't know what it is." That's what. <laughs> <laughs> and George is just like, "I can't tell fucking what the fuck he is." You know, <laughs> this is exactly what's every is. episode. You know, she can't. Yeah, yeah, but she. Yeah, and she even she's not doing herself any favors by having a, the blonde, the hair blonde. But that's okay though. Do what you want. Live your truth. But what is your truth? But that's what people want to know. Also, but they don't her- deserve to know that. Whoops, right? Okay. But they don't deserve to know that unless she. I don't know. Is it a weird thing to be like, where are you from? It's annoying. It is annoying because you know, here's the thing. When I saw her, I thought, wow, I wonder what she is. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you? No. That was the first thing I thought. But then I immediately thought she probably gets that all the time. Yeah. Okay. So I would not ask her that, at least from John. Yeah. You never ask somebody that. Be, uh, here's the deal. You never ask somebody something that is clear they get asked it all the time. Right. Why? Like for me, it's, like, dude, how big must your dick be? No, they go, that like, doesn't. They do do that, though. That doesn't happen at, they go like at this. all. Do, they, yeah. They say, like, do, does it weigh down on your testicles? They go, does it weigh down on your testicles? And in the big, first time when I was like, what do you mean? Oh, my. And they say, because you're obviously. And I mm. go, okay, yeah. Right. That, yeah. That's most conversations. Okay. How they start for me. I'm going to. I don't think that happens, yeah. but it's okay. Well, you're not mean. anything that get the, anything that anything that's obviously asked of someone a lot yes. is going to annoy them if you also ask it. Mm-hmm. Curb your fucking curiosity because mm-hmm. we all know that what the truth is. People ask because they want to fill the fucking air. They don't actually ha- Small give talk. a fuck. Really, it's the worst. They're not going to remember when they walk away. So why ask the annoying thing? 
Just don't fucking ask that. In general, people, stop asking people that. It's so boring and annoying. Mm. Who's excited to be like, ah, yes, somebody asked me about my ethnicity. I got the info, white, black, and a little bit Mexican. Mm. And then you got to tell them like it's not, Dude, nobody likes that. You guys say, you, uh, they say, what is, where, what are you from? What are they, what's the question she gets? What are you? And then she says, what's your favorite movie? And they say, oh, uh, and they answer and they say, good. Now we're both boring. Spin yeah, out that's good. good. Um, now we're both boring. You need to match good. your boringness. <laughs> um, spin move. And so uh, I think that, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. But yeah, I think that it's just really good. It's one of, you know what, dude, it is? It's one of those things you got to just fucking sometimes charge to the game though, right? Mm, meaning? Well, like, it's just like the th your thing. It's going to suck, man. It's just one of those things you got to charge it to the game. That's or, game tax. Yeah, or I guess you could answer and just be so clearly like annoyed by it. Just like that. Yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly what I was thinking. I'm mixed. I'm white and black. My mom and my my right. mom was white. My dad was black because it's never obviously the other way around. But yeah. And then say, you happy now? Mm -hmm. Like that. Are you, are, you, are you happy now? Yeah. You know? I think that, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I do when people are like, dude, is the top, you know, does the, is the top of your penis is no nope. no but they're like is it often raw and red and i'm like why in the first <laughs> beginning i was like why and they're like because it, when you walk forward obviously the top of it drags on the ground <laughs> behind you and i go no it's not actually i you know i make sure that i fucking scoop it around my leg and i tie mine up yeah, so it's yeah, in yeah. a knot facing up right and so they're like wow and then i go yeah and so that's how i that's how i combat that question but i still go like this when they go like this is your the top of your and i go right i wrap mm -hmm. and i cut them off as i wrap it around my leg and they uh, go oh okay 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 uh, it's all uh, good man and that's just not what they were gonna ask you and shit like, the <laughs> is the top is that i wrap my dick around my leg i was gonna ask you if the top floor is 10 or 11 <laughs> all right cool now a word from our sponsor better help how well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life that's how our brains work so why don't we treat them that way Therapy is something that's near and dear to my heart. I mean, this show is an advice show, but therapy is the real deal. When you have serious issues, serious problems, anything in your life that comes up, you want to talk to a therapist. I can't recommend therapy more to anyone and everyone. Everyone should be in therapy. And I've even tried BetterHelp and BetterHelp is amazing it's great because it's better help is online therapy that offers video phone and even live chat only therapy sessions so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't even want to it's just all for you it's focused on you it's much more affordable than in-person therapy which is great and uh the cool thing is you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours which is really lightning quick especially it's hard to find one you know you a lot of the time when you're on your own and not online and not using better help so that's why better help is really great yeah otherwise you get on a wait list and it just takes forever and ever this is the way to go better help yeah. our listeners get 10 percent off their first month at betterhelp.com slash lifeline that's better h-e-l-p.com slash lifeline so go on over there and give it a shot better help is uh is a really great uh really great thing to do here we go let's do it Shit. chris wow what's up my babies going skydiving my girlfriend and i i mean what uh, the fuck is he wearing my wife now in a straight jacket married. couldn't get his belt We've off been together for four years <laughs> I mean, we used to have pause sex. half wearing everything. Look at his <laughs> fucking, look at his <laughs> headphones, dude. Only one of them is on. His, it would be like his fucking glasses are like this. <laughs> hey, what's up? One leg in his shorts. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, my question is kind of obvious. How do you wear stuff? <laughs> <laughs> dude, uh. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Every day. I'm sure that's how every relationship goes. His I hat isn't even on right. I know. Like once a month. He's talking about having sex. Okay. And uh -huh. I know that's irregular for any young couple, well, but it seems to me like she's falling out of sexual attraction. Uh, so comfortable talking me. about anything. And, um, this guy. Yeah. I want to know what you might think of what that reason is. The most comfortable guy the talking reason for that. Right. about right. anything. anything. Oh, he's the shit. This guy's the shit. Oh my god, I've you. never seen somebody more comfortable in his own skin talking about anything because he's talking about his sex life That's and he's on. Like they were, they were like his friend was like, "Do you want to blur your face out?" And he literally goes like this. Why would I do that? Yeah, right. Yeah, but the thing is that you she's put on definitely the rest of your clothes. What do you mean? I'm putting on half of it. <laughs> it's definitely not 
that she's not attracted to you anymore because the way yeah. you are being yeah, is dude, so dude, attractive. Literally, yeah. you could be a fucking one. Yeah, this right. guy if, cleans it up. Yeah, if you're if confidence. you're that confident, it just doesn't matter what you look like. Uh, but let's say that you need to know the answer. I think there, just like most things, there's a way to ask that without being like, "Hey, why don't you want to fuck anymore?" For instance, mm -hmm. right? How do you? Uh, how, how like? Is there something I could be doing more? Like, I feel mm -hmm. like we used to have more sex. Is our passion dwindling? If it is, Poetic. what can I do to oh, kind of sort of like recharge it? Like, what 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 are the things that you need? Uh, and then once the conversation is going your partner will eventually tell you the deal you know like if you make it a safe place for her to say whatever she will tell you the thing if they're I mean, look it's totally possible that it's nothing her sex drive just has waned it has nothing to do with him yeah but like if it if there is an underlying reason that uh she's sort of nervous about sharing i think opening up a space like that communication that kind of shit she'll be able to have a safe zone to say that shit Man, that's incredible. I just can't believe how... I, I honestly think that that guy's the most comfortable guy I've ever seen in my life. He's comfortable. He would just walk up to his wife and just be like... In front of her family. Uh -huh. Why don't we doink? <laughs> doink, yeah. Why don't we doink? Why don't we have sex? Here, Here's the deal. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, we don't have sex much. Wow. Um hey at, mom at thanksgiving hey, shit. hey hey her mom and hey her dad yeah anyway could you pass the gravy <laughs> maybe once a month it's all good but pass me half the gravy i'll only use half of it <laughs> what 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 do you what is your advice dude <clears throat> you uh, i mean it, here's he, i have advice which is similar to yours but i also think that this kind of stuff just comes and goes in waves yeah, like i have a lot of old friends true. that have been married for a long time and they're like yeah sometimes yeah. you go a year and it's not good sometimes you go two years it's not good sometimes you go a month it's not good but then you go and you have like a string of fucking months or a year that's just yeah, great it's true you know it's part of commitment it's part of being with somebody it's part of uh marriage you know mm -hmm. and uh and i just think that right now you're in one of those moments you know sometimes the shirt's half on you know, as they say, as John Lennon said, as John Lennon said, sometimes your hat's tipping off the back of your head and you're only wearing one headphone. Yeah. The headphones thing was what did it. For also, me. what was around your chest? Also, where was he? It was like, I think he fell out of a plane, <laughs> hit the ground and immediately started recording the yeah, video. Dude, he just goes, oh, gong. <laughs> Boop. So my wife, <laughs> it's all good, but we don't have sex. We have it like once <laughs> or something a month. <laughs> So basically, what do I do? And I, then he went, and then he stopped recording, and he just goes, "Oh my god!" And realized how much pain he's right, in. Right, broke yeah. his back, you know. Yeah. Uh, so wait, the, I think the one other thing I want to say before we move on is, I don't think you should be assuming, don't assume anything, bringing up with her mm -hmm. that it's some kind of attraction level thing. It's that not is an attraction not level thing. A good assumption. I'm telling to you make. right now, dude. Okay, but but it's not a good assumption to make. It, no, it's, it's not bad. Good, it's, it's not good to make bad. any assumptions. Yes, but that's a, that one is specifically bad because yeah. it'll fucking change the it'll way he's acting. Up. It'll dry her and up. And it'll make him resentful and be fucking weird. Yeah. And that'll make it even worse, whatever's going on. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. Don't assume anything, honestly. Ever. Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, uh, cool. Next one. Next one. Next one. Hey, guys. Um, Hello. My question is, is it ever Pulling okay to move on after your spouse passes away my fiance passed away in december and i get a lot of people telling me that like they hope that i move on and i find somebody else someday um but like i just don't feel like that's appropriate um like his family doesn't get to replace him so like what gives me the right so i'm just wondering like what your take would be and if you were in my shoes what would you do Oh, and if you are going to move on, what's the appropriate length of time before you move on? Thanks. Here's the deal. First of all, that's terrible. And I'm so yeah. fucking sorry, sorry that that happened. That's unimaginable. And just my heart goes out to you and, and his family. Um, as far as moving on, I don't think that you should put a hard and fast rule on yourself about that. If you don't feel like doing it, then you definitely should not. If you start feeling like doing it, you got to lose this idea that it's inappropriate. It's not inappropriate unless you feel that deeply on the inside. But don't, there's no rule that says 
you know, it's inappropriate until X amount of months or whatever years. Uh, that's just not that's not the, a fair way to treat yourself. Mm. Uh, but and I also think that the thing that you mentioned about his family doesn't get to replace him, but but you know, and, and so neither should you. I don't really agree with that because I don't think that you know when you have a child. Um, you have either that just that child or more children and you're right they are irreplaceable as that individual child but people all the time get married and divorced have long relationships that end amicably uh, um, often point. and so yeah. I, I think that you should give yourself the leeway the 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 bottom line is sadly he is gone and you are still here and i think because of that and I think he would say this too. And I, I mean, I'm assuming his, even his family would agree. You deserve to be happy in this one life that you have. So I don't think you should put some hard and fast rules on yourself for you're not allowed to, you shouldn't do it. It would be a bad thing to do. It's not a bad thing to do. If you don't feel like doing it, then don't. But don't make yourself not do it because of some rule that you perceive to be some kind of moral code. It's, don't put that on yourself. It's, it's enough that your fiance has passed away. That is plenty. Don't add to your troubles. Yeah, don't. I mean, she's asking when is an appropriate amount of time. There is no appropriate right. amount of time. It's whenever you feel like right. it. I think that like your parents or her, their parents, who is it, their parents? or I think she's talking about his parents, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's tough, man. I mean, I, I don't know what the right, uh answer for it is i don't imagine it's easy at all i'm really sorry that this happened um i think it's just a slow process that's very you know you take your steps as you can and hopefully it feels okay when it does and if it does then that's a, a some sort of a blessing in your life i you know it's i don't think there's any real answer here you're uh, right that there's no right answer but there mm -hmm. i believe that there is a wrong answer and that wrong answer would be that you can absolutely never move on that is not fair to yourself mm -hmm. and again you're you remain you have a life and you need to live it that doesn't mean get back out there it's time to move on that is bullshit and anyone that's sitting there telling you you have to move on come on get pull, pull yourself up by the bootstraps get yourself out of bed yeah. that's horseshit if it takes you six months 18 months, fucking five years, it doesn't matter. But at some point, if you start to feel like getting back out there and maybe meeting someone, do it. Absolutely just do it. Do not hold yourself back because of some perceived morality that you feel like you need to put put on yourself. That that's not that's not fair to you. And also just objectively, it's not right. It's mm -hmm. not right. But I get that you would feel that way though. It's it's a heartbreak and you're probably emotionally just fucking crushed and it's gonna take a minute, but don't add to the to the troubles. Yeah. That you know? makes me sad. I, I don't. Um, I don't have much to add to that. I mean, I don't even know what I would do. I think uh, it's just. Um, and I think you know. Sorry, but his no, family but is one thing, but they're going through a different thing. I'm sure there are online communities of people who have lost romantic, intimate partners uh, suddenly, or not so suddenly. It doesn't matter. But before their time, you know, you're still very young. Uh, so I think that give yourself all the time that you need, but also maybe seek out people who have gone through similar things. I know just from firsthand experience that obviously this hasn't happened to me, but other things that have been traumatic, finding other people who have gone through the exact same thing, who understand it in their version, but understand it in a broader way, maybe hearing their stories or even just like reading about their stories. You don't even need to talk to these people if you don't want to, uh, could really sort of help a lot, I think. Yeah. You know? Yeah, my heart goes out to you, man. I'm, 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 I'm sorry to hear that. It's brutal, mm -hmm. but we love you yeah. and uh, take care of yourself first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Matt, you are much better looking than Chris. Okay, well, I've been running for years. He looks it's like my you, so. way of getting rid of stress and anxiety and like decompressing and like it's my outlet. That's what I do. There's this family in my neighborhood that um, when they see me running, they turn the little five year old loose and the little five year old tries to come out of the street and play tag with me when I'm what? doing my sprints. And what? like I'm not a babysitter. Like this has been going on for months. I start off really nice Whoa. about it. You know, I, do, I wait for the kid to get tired and try and finish up my run later. But like the kid is 
like it sticks around for longer and longer and longer now i've let this charade go on for so long i try to be too nice about it and now i'm at this point where i don't know them i can't set that boundary because i don't know them but this kid comes out in the middle of the street and i'm babysitting while i'm working out like it's so stupid get out of my stupid face do i need to perform like spin moves or something (laughs) like do i need to throw like a hot flaming toilet paper balls in their windows i don't know i I was gonna say that i was gonna say that That'd be weird if, yeah, that would be weird if you were going to say that. I mean, he's running by and they do this, he said? He's got a workout routine that involves him running back and forth past his neighbor's house. Uh, And when the five-year-old sees this happen, he is loosed upon this poor guy. Put him to fucking work. Get him, uh, you know what I mean? Working out. Have him go into your house and take care of, like, do the dishes, make your bed, whatever the fuck. Like, put this motherfucker to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so annoying. Uh, It's annoying, yeah. I mean, like, I, you know, it's it's not, it's it's one of those things that's annoying, but it's, like, cute. The kid's cute, so you're like, oh, fuck. But the parents are annoying, right? Yeah. But are they watching him? Because if they're not watching him, then you should have a conversation with the parents and be like, yo, I'm trying to work out, and I don't know if your kid, you know, I'm going to run into your kid. I don't want your kid to get hurt. Yeah. I'm working out, you know, I push fucking crazy weight, you know, make up whatever the fuck. He said and, the parents are setting the kid loose. Yes, exactly. So you got to go over there and knock on the door and say, hey, look, your yeah. kid's fine. I don't mind him being out here when I am, but like, obviously yeah. it's a fucking free country. You do what you want, mm-hmm. but you can't leave him with me. I don't give a fuck about your kid. Right. And I just want you to let you know, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to watch him. Yeah. So if anything bad happens yeah. to him, guess whose fault it is? Right. Only yours. I'm not watching you. I'm not watching your kid. I got weights that I'm moving around. I don't want your kid to get any any, any sort of pain. So you got to keep an eye on your kid. If, if if I'm running by your house on the street, it's not your property. Right. I'm fucking, you know what I mean? God, and keep running. Don't stop. Just keep running. It's yeah, not, don't. They're doing the thing where they're just like, ah, oh, yeah, he'll watch him. You know right. what I mean? If I'm doing some shit inside or, yeah. you know, the kid, will, he's not going to always going to let the kid get taken. No. Right. Well, I think that's the thing. You need to be clear. If your kid gets kidnapped, I'm just going to let it happen. I'm not wow. doing anything. I'm not watching wow. this kid. It's not my responsibility. I don't know where you got the fucking idea in your head that it is, but this is not my fucking thing. Mm. I'm just letting you know. Mm. I'm not watching your kid. Mm. And, and 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 I'm not just not watching because I'm oblivious. I'm purposely not watching your kid. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do that. I'm working out, not fucking babysitting. Mm. Like, dude, they're, I understand he doesn't want to set the boundary because he doesn't know him, but they're being crazy rude and irresponsible. Well, it's just, they're probably just got their head up their ass. You got to be like, dude, I don't know if you've heard about the zone, but when I work out, I get in that. And I can't fucking see shit around that. So if your five-year-old is wow. running around playing with my weights, he's going to get hurt. And I'm in the zone, dude. So it's not going to be my fault. You but don't want your kid to die because I'm in the zone. It's about him like running off, getting into some other thing. Right, right, right. You don't want your kid to get taken because yes. I'm in the zone. Yeah, okay. But just blame Stop it on the zone. Stop doing the zone No, I'm thing. just saying, dude, the fucking, you know, I don't know, you know, the husband's probably out of shape. You'd be like, your husband's out of shape. He's probably never or very rarely been in the zone. He probably hasn't been in the zone since high school. I live in that zone, right? He's when I'm out here with the zone. Yeah, I live in that. When I'm running back and forth, that's exactly where I am. And guess who's not in the zone? Anyone else. Your kid, definitely, but anyone else. So familiarize the parents with the zone, step yeah, one. first, and then be like, step two, watch your kid. let them know that you inhabit the zone. Mm-hmm. Step three, let them know their kid will never inhabit the zone, mm-hmm. and therefore, this is not going to work. I mean, the kid might be in the zone, but he's not going to be in my zone. He's got to grow up and be in his own zone. Well, he'll grow up eventually and be in his own zone, but nobody's right. in any zone at five. Right, there you go. Except like the shitting in your pants educate zone. Educate them about the zone. The shit your pants zone. Right, that zone is something that kids do, but yeah. educate them about the zone and then also say, look, you know, mm-hmm. that's not going to... Yeah. Right. Okay, good. Cool. So basically, uh, this one's another written one. So basically, a good buddy of mine is seriously dating a friend of my sister. Hold on a second. A good oh. buddy of mine is seriously dating... A friend, I can't ever do this. Hold on. So a good buddy of his yeah. is seriously dating a friend of my sister. I was like, I get it. I get it. It's like Steve Levecchio. It. Wow. I mean, like I'm dating all the way back. I'm to, dating Lauren Levecchio. Right? You know, use That's more current situation. friends, but right. okay. Uh, her and my sister are part of my guy's friend group of six dudes. I recently found out that his girl went on a date with someone else behind his back because her dad forced her to. That's in quotes, by the way. I only found out from my sister and I swore I wouldn't tell him. If I tell him, I essentially ruin my sister and her friendship because my sister wasn't supposed to tell anyone. And then there's beef with me and my sister and her and my sister and Jesus the whole Christ. The whole Tris group is going to be affected. Okay, that's not a word. Oh, but all I know is if trio I were group. Trio group. What does yeah. that mean? I don't know. Tris. Don't know. Okay. Whatever the fuck. But all I know is if I were in his position, I would need to know this. Makes me so mad because my guy has no idea and plans to marry her. I want to tell him so bad, but I don't know what the right thing to do is. 
uh i think you have to do i need you need to get to her somehow whether that's through yourself or you don't want to blow up your sister's spot and you want to maybe make your sister say to her friend hey this guy's really serious about you and we're all like a really tight friend group i'm not going to say anything but i think you need to like he's gonna try to he's gonna keep pursuing this and wants to turn it into something lifelong like he needs to know and i think that you need to talk to him about this tell him about this give her the option to it's never good to be like hey dude your fucking girl's cheating on you you want to talk to the girl first and give her the chance to yeah. do it well they they went out they hung out because the dad wanted them to whatever that's all about that's in quotes i think he's implying that he doesn't believe it oh okay gotcha okay and then that that's all that happened she went on a fucking date with someone else is what happened uh -huh. that's yeah. it but how his... old are they that's a that definitely you know what i mean it sounds like they're like fucking 19 it sounds yeah they sound like they're in their Dude, late teens honestly i agree so like he wants to marry her but also it's not gonna marry her anyway you know what i mean just let it play out i think maybe start talking shit about her too to him to your friend wait who the guy that's writing should yeah. talk to his friend and be like ah dude i know you uh, want to marry her i don't know if that's a good idea you know yeah maybe i don't know i mean you don't that want is a bad spot for him yeah to but you that run sucks, the risk of dude. saying hey look dude you know uh if you involve yourself, you run the risk of ruining your friendship with the dude. The guy could be like, oh, fuck off, this and that. You know what I mean? Well, you don't need to be too forceful about it. I know, I know, no, no, I know. Obviously, they'll be forceful no matter what, but like you run the risk of getting involved and then having it backfire on you. Mm -hmm. It could totally be the kind of thing where it's just like, I mean, dude, if it was a, a hangout and that was just that. Oh, wait, I got the advice. Okay, what? I got the advice. The advice. I got the advice. I got the advice. The advice is this. Tell your sister, uh -huh. you need to talk to your friend and confront her about this and tell her that she needs to tell my friend who she's dating that she dated someone else behind his back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell your sister, there's somebody, I can't do this, dude. Hold on, this but is, that's, so see, that's pissing me off because it's, it's simple. so hard. No, so it's you're, not. okay, do it again, say it. I am suggesting okay. that this guy talk to his sister okay. who's friends with the cheater. Okay. And the cheater told his sister that he can't, that she can't tell anybody. And she told the guy that wrote in, okay? So he's not supposed to know. Uh, so I, he needs to talk to the sister oh my and God. say, talk, to, you need to talk to your friend or else I'm going to. And that can't happen because the sister is going to say, no, you can't do that. And he's going to say, well, you better then because I'm going to if you don't do it. So, so you're forcing the sister to confront her friend who's the cheater about cheating. Okay. And then. Oh, so you don't keep, get involved. Exactly. I see what you're saying. And then the threat over her head Jesus is Christ. I'll fucking, I'll do it if you don't. And that'll make you look bad to your friend. Okay. So then she's got to fucking talk to her friend about cheating. And then she's got to confront her. And then so that he can be confronted. Fuck. It's too hard. It's not hard. You fucked me up. I didn't fuck you up. I wasn't saying anything. You looked confused. I, I Okay, well, I agree with you, I guess. Okay, good. I don't know who's who, dude. There's too many friends and right, shit. Let me just finish it like this then. Have the person write in. Guy, it's other person writing in. Guy who wrote in, talk to your sister and say, look, if you don't confront your friend about this, I'm going to. Your sister will be like, no, 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 you can't. And okay. then you can be like, yes. of course I can. That's I why that. you have to. I get that. And if you don't, I'm gonna. And then, so therefore, you wipe your hands clean. You don't, your sister's friend doesn't need to know she told you. It stays among them in her friend's mind. Okay. And then she can, with that information, go to her boyfriend and be like, because you got to put the pressure on and box them all in, uh -huh. right? So she can have this domino effect by doing that and ensure that the fucking cheating friend confronts his cheated on friend. <sighs> with the truth right yeah okay okay go, go make a disclaimer dude if you're not the guy don't write in what's happening here no i get i totally get it. it's a, a guy I, I know somebody who actually met somebody once but he's in a, at a denny's diner and the waitress was telling him dude this is like if my, don't do back in new jersey mike lavecchio said the thing about i don't i i fucking haven't talked to them in 20 years i don't remember who was friends with who i'm pissed off at you it's all right i don't get it there's too many. I can't do this. Anytime someone says, this is my brother's fucking friend's sister's mother. I don't know. I'm done. Well, then I you're need to an be talking. idiot. I know, maybe. Maybe okay. I got to fucking need ginkgo biloba. But the second somebody says to me, 
Hey, dude, this is my friend's. Boom, I'm out. If it's not your friend or your sister, if it's your sister's friend, okay. But if it's your sister's friends, then boom, I'm done. Any more than two, I'm done. You're a straight up idiot. You're a straight up idiot. I try hard. That's why I can't follow shows like fucking Game of Thrones. Congrats on being a straight up idiot. It's all good. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Next one. I'm sorry I can't give you advice on that one because I I don't know who the fuck you did. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, next. Hey, Chris and Matt. What's up? Um, My name's Tori. What's up? And I have a little problem I need some help with. She killed somebody. (laughs) But I need some advice about how to approach this guy yeah. that I have a crush on yeah. in my building. And I mean, I have a crush on him for no reason other than physical. And I see That's him how in that two works. locations, the gym. Mm, no. And it's hard for me to think of a way to yeah, approach don't, don't, anyone in no. the gym because no one wants to be talked to in the don't gym. Don't do that. Yeah, of course. Or I also see him like in the elevator, he'll be getting off and I'll be getting on. Mm-hmm. And I always feel like it's when I'm looking my worst, feeling my uh-huh. worst, but I just need to like rip the Naturally. bandaid off and be like, you know, say hey or something. I just yep. can't think of what to do to break the ice. So yeah. I need your help. Um, it would be so appreciated. Love the show. Thanks so much. Well, you see him in two different places. The elevator to the gym and the gym though, yeah. Uh, so kind of the same it's kind place. of the same place yeah you're kind of fucking making it like it's two different but places, the but elevator not... is way better than the gym even yeah if it's connected right to the gym. right yeah yeah but what but yeah. i don't know man i mean the second you try to think about what you're going to say you're kind of already fucked here's what you honestly. say here's what you say uh it's easier for a woman toward a man at the gym because the the thing that is the biggest no-no ever yeah don't talk is a to a man gym, hitting yeah. on a woman at the yeah, gym it's just not gonna work the other way around is still kind of dicey but it's not nearly as mm, fucking mm, bad yeah but anyway uh I think in the elevator next time you see him, make like a, f- she's cute and she's being cute and laughing at herself. Take that same exact vibe and say, oh, this is so weird, but you know, I didn't want to do it inside the gym, mm. but we always run into each other here. And I thought, why not just tell you, like, I actually have like a crush on you and it's silly, but I just want to let you know. And like, maybe you want to hang out sometime. That would be, <sighs> no, that's like fucking old fashioned shit. Just be like, yo, what's up? How you doing? My friends and I are going to be somewhere. Why don't you come meet up with you and your friends? Don't like it. Why though? Playing it too cool. She got to be honest and earnest. Her vibe is the honest and earnest cute thing. Yeah, I know, but she also has to be alluring and shit. Like she can't be like, I have a crush on you. That's like, because the guy's going to be like, got this. You need to be the guy, you need to make the guy be like, oh, that was cool. That was, that was an interesting situation. Huh? What's that girl all about? You can't play all your cards, bro. Boo. You can't play all your cards. Okay. Well, you can't play all your cards. Uh, I think what I said is great. If you want to take a bigger chance, do what I said. If you want to play it all cool and shit, do what he said, I guess. No, don't play it. It's not about playing it cool. It's about getting the guy to be intrigued with you. All right, maybe don't say crush, but be like, oh man, like I feel like we've run into each other a lot of times on the elevator. Uh, I feel like maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Be cute and shit. Don't be like cool. Yeah, no, I'm not saying be cool, but be like, yo, um, hey, I... uh, uh, I see you in here all the time. You you should get some friends. I'm meeting my friends. Because you don't even know if you like the guy yet. You just have a crush. She likes him. But you don't know, though. The guy could be like fucking terrible. And at which point she could hang out with an, him for an hour and leave and never I know, do but it if again. You, if you meet up with friends, if you say my friends are coming, you should come. And then you know if he shows up, he's kind of interested. Mm. I think that that's a move. Okay. Well, you we- just say, look, my friends are hanging out with this at this place. Come with your friends if you want. If he shows up, then you know. He's interested. If he doesn't, then maybe he still is, but still, you know that you've got the gym and you can see him all the time. Yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, I think we disagree on this one. That's not the worst thing. So I you just think, think I should say, hey, I notice you, you have a, I, you know, I, I think you're cool. We should hang out sometime. Oh, she should be like, oh, I'm kind of like embarrassed. And I, I would never do this at the gym, but like we run into each other all the time. And I don't know. I just, I thought you were cute. Maybe we could like go get a coffee sometime. You'd like that? Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Just straight honesty mm-hmm. and not creepiness. Always the best. If she can pull that off, yeah, but that's very hard to pull off. But if she, all she needs to do is take the vibe that she took to that video. Okay. That's it. Is she saying the gym is in their building? I don't know. Uh-huh. I'm confused by that too. I thought, I thought maybe she meant the elevator is just at the gym, but I thought, then, then you I could thought say, she's saying the elevator at their building. They then live you in the same say, building and she sees them at the gym. Oh. Then you could say, then, and yeah. honestly, the best thing is, is that the gym and the building, the gym and the elevator and my apartment are the same place. If we end, end up hitting it off, we could live, still live here and we could always be together. Yeah, well, that now that would be bad. That's something that you like to say yeah. probably. That would be a robot. All right, cool. Well, look, that's what we have for this uh, this this today. Um, this if you have today. a question, then go to watchlifeline.com. And also you can get the Lifeline merch on my website or the other website that we have for Lifeline, uh, which is what? Watch Lifeline 
lifelinemerch.com and get the life- lifelinemerch.com lifeline merch at lifelinemerch.com yes so that's that and uh and that's it and leave your comments on what you think the advice should be in the in the comment and then subscribe to super cult studios we really appreciate it and subscribe to also the clip channel that would be great we got super cult clips thank you very much you guys you rock yeah we love you yeah